I have five very important things to tell you that are totally unrelated to this video before we get to the meat of this video. But first I'm waiting for the car outside that has the very loud bass on it to leave. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos. Now there's a motorcycle out there. Or be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals, sales, rare finds, discount codes on these things we love. Oh my gosh, the traffic is so loud outside. Can you guys hear it? It's seven o'clock. It seems like the traffic would be gone by now. Five minutes later, it's finally quiet enough to resume filming. Okay, like I said, I have five totally unrelated things, but very super important things to tell you. First of all, Number one, who is ready to go back to New Orleans? Raise your hand high, I am. I worked all day and then we just went to a restaurant called Ragin' Cajun. They have the very best, hands down, shrimp and grits in the whole world. And I'm including New Orleans in this. So we had the shrimp and grits. We always get that when we go there because it's amazing. And we also had a hurricane. They have terrible drinks at this restaurant, although I am feeling the alcohol a bit, but their hurricanes are about as bad as Pat O'Brien's in New Orleans. Hurricanes are not supposed to be red and they're not supposed to be made from a mix. A hurricane, when it's made properly, is one of the best cocktails around. Those aren't, but they're shrimp and grits if you're ever in Houston, raging Cajun. But I am ready to go back to New Orleans. It's probably happening this summer. I tried to get Baron in here. Roxy, come here, Roxy. Roxy followed me in here like she usually does. Because she's a good girl, and she loves her mother, don't you? You do. She's beautiful. Thank you, Roxy, for gracing us with your presence. Baron, however, chose ice cream over me. Not that he was eating the ice cream. The guy had an ice cream cone, and Baron chose to be in the same room as the ice cream cone rather than in the same room as me. At least now I know where I stand. Number three, there's a handbag sale you should know about, and this video is going up on Thursday, August, nope, April. 29th. The sale ends today, so make sure you go check it out today. I'll link it below. It's a sample sale by a brand named Staud, S-T-A-U-D, which I feel like maybe I've heard of before, but I've never looked into. And boy, do they have some deals. I bought a few bags. Yota bought a few bags. We're gonna, once we once they arrive, we're gonna do a collaboration unboxing of our bags. Winnie might buy a bag, but I encourage you to go check it out. They've got some really cool designs. Prices are excellent in the sample sale. Next up, number four. The current video that you're about to see, you've rephrased that, the video you are currently watching, but the content that you're about to see that we haven't gotten to yet is a follow-up to the video I did this past Saturday on how many bags is too many bags. I have to give a shout out to Cheryl Tamilkoff, who gets the best comment of the century award. And a lot of you have already read it and commented on it. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go back to that video and find her, Cheryl Tamilkoff, Cheryl with a C, and find it and let her know how absolutely brilliant her comment is. She said, my son asked me what I was going to do with my current coach tote if I got another tote. Like, I kept him after I had his sister, didn't I? Brilliant, brilliant. And number five, I have, cover up all the information, I have a little unboxing here. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think it's something that I ordered off of Etsy, but it's not something I'd wanna do an entire video on, so I thought I might throw it in here. Just got it in the mail today. Yes, I do know what it is. You see on the box there, it says leather prints. You guys are gonna like this. And I will link this shop below. They have a bunch of great stuff. Okay, inside the box is this little bag. And inside that bag is another box, and inside that is another bag and another bag. That's how it usually works, right? Leather prints, sticker, handmade, thank you. I've had this on my Etsy wish list for a couple of years, and I finally decided to go ahead and splurge and get it. It's in a little plastic bag, but I'm gonna take it out of that so you can see it better. Are you ready for this? This is absolutely adorable. It's a bag charm. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my God. It's an African gray made out of leather. It is so adorable. 
It has this little buckle clip, so it doesn't matter if the bag has a big handle or if the bag has a D-ring or not. I can just wrap this around the handle of the bag and strap it on and I've got Vincent with me. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. It's soft. The attention to detail is really good. Oh, I like it so much. I'm so glad I got it. Um, he has all kinds of things, all kinds of bag charms on his site. So I would highly encourage you to check out the website if you like cute bag charms like this. Um, there are some that are horses that look kind of like Hermes, but then there are all kinds of other things too. And just to give you an idea of prices, this was $55. So it's a little pricey, but if you compare it to like Hermes bag charms, which are several hundred, right? And Louis Vuitton and Chanel and all that, really a bargain compared to them. All right, that was fun. That was the fifth thing. That, the, bleh, bleh. that was the fifth thing, so let's get on to the content of this video. In the last video, I talked about, or in the Saturday video, I talked about how many bags is too many bags and how that's really relative and it's up to you. And I also said I'd do a video about how to decide how many bags is right for you. And if you're wanting to cull down your collection, some tips for figuring that out. And as I was making my notes for this video, I realized I may need to make another video that's more specifically about culling down your collection. But the video that I'm doing today is the one that I had in mind when I was talking about it on Saturday. The trick to figuring out how many bags you really need or would really use in your collection for your lifestyle is to think about what your lifestyle is like, what kinds of things you do, what you would need bags for, and what you need those bags to be shaped like, how functional they need to be, what they need to look like. So I came up with four different categories of things to consider when you're coming up with a list of basically reasons you need a handbag. So the first of these four is what occasions do you need a handbag for? And I have some examples, but this is not an exhaustive list. So one would be a work bag, a mom bag, a quick lunch or errand bag. So for example, I've heard people will take a big tote to work, but then they'll have a little clutch inside to take to run out to get lunch. A weekend bag, a vacation bag, and think about also more specific things. Like for me, I would need a winery bag, a dinner or happy hour bag, a hiking or walking bag. Perhaps you need a country club bag, a wedding or special event bag, a shopping bag, a beach or pool bag, and a bag for stadiums or graduations, which generally these days would be a clear bag. In addition to occasions, another thing to think about is what styles of bags would best suit those occasions. So for example, you might want a tote or a clutch or a crossbody or a satchel or a backpack or a hobo or a bum bag. And then what vibe or style do you want the bag to have? So for example, is it a formal bag, a casual bag? Is it a rock and roll bag? Is it a boho bag? Is it a sleek bag? Is it a vintage bag? So what kind of feel does it need to have? And then the last thing I came up with is what materials does that bag need to be made up of? For example, coated canvas or leather or suede or patent leather, satin, epi, PVC, lambskin. And then I also included along with the material, the color of the bag. Is it a black bag? Is it a neutral bag? Is it a pop of color bag? Is it a patterned bag? And then what color hardware goes with that? When you think about bags this way, If you're someone like me who doesn't really have a limit to the number of bags that you want to have or are willing to have or willing to live with and have crumble on top of you and crush you to death one day, this is a way you can come up with justification for having so many different bags, right? You need this type of bag and this style and this material and this color for this occasion or this outfit. Or if you're someone who wants to have a smaller collection, you could think about this, write all this out and then figure out, okay, what bags can I get that cover multiple scenarios? What color or style or material is best for me? And then figure out how to fit those across different occasions. Make sense? So you can take all this information and make it work for you however many bags you want to have. 
have. And then whether you have an unlimited number of bags or you wanna cull your collection and keep it to a certain number, one important thing to keep in mind when you're looking for bags is that just because you like a bag doesn't always mean it'll work for you. I think we all know this, but it can really be tempting sometimes when you find a bag that you think is just gorgeous and maybe it's also a great price and great quality and whatever. It's like everything is pointing toward get that bag, but you know in the back of your mind that really that's not a bag that you would carry. Maybe it's something you just wouldn't carry often because of the occasion you'd use it for, or maybe the material is something you'd be afraid to use, or maybe the price tag makes it something you'd be afraid to use, or the style is something that you know you've tried before and it doesn't really work for you, or the color is something that you think is really pretty but it doesn't really work with your wardrobe. And of course I'm not saying you can never buy a bag like that. Sometimes it's nice to have a bag in your collection that you just think is really beautiful even if you don't carry it that often. But generally you would want to avoid those bags. Well look who decided to join us. Hello Baron. Why do you always look miserable when you're on camera? You look like the saddest dog in the world. He's not. He's spoiled rotten. Did you get ice cream? When this video is over, are you ready for a cookie? Hmm? Huh? Yes? Okay. So the tips I've given you in this video are the four categories of bags that you want to think about to figure out what you really need in your collection. I haven't even taken the time to do this myself. I was planning to and I haven't had time to do it before I came up with these things and now. So maybe at some point I will. I'm personally interested to see what my final list would be and if I could sort of write out all the occasions and types of bags and blah 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 that I feel like I really would use throughout the year and then match bags in my collection to that and see where there's overlap and see where there are gaps, if any. I can tell you one thing that would be on the list I have this bag, the Emery from Coach. This is the Emery 18 centimeter. I've really enjoyed this bag since I got it. I use it as a grocery bag and it's small and it's a crossbody, so it's hands-free when I'm at the grocery store and obviously it's black. And I don't have a lot of small bags, especially crossbody bags because I don't wear them very often. I tend to wear larger bags, but I have enjoyed this so much that I've wanted to get something similar in another color. And today in that Staud sale, in the sample sale, they had this little moon bag that was in a like a camel color, they called it tan, and it was in the mini size, it had a crossbody strap, and I was trying to figure out what color to get, and I liked the black one, but I already knew that I had this bag and I felt like that would be overlap. So I decided to go with the tan one because they're similar bags serving similar purposes but different colors so I can wear them with different outfits. See how I justified that? And you can too. All right, so those are my ideas for this video along with the other unrelated things at the beginning. Remember to go let Cheryl know how amazing her comment was on Saturday's video. I will link it below for you. And be sure to check out that Stodd sale because very cool bags excellent prices. I can't speak to the quality yet. They appear to be good quality. The materials look like good quality, but I've never seen one of their bags in person and looked at it up close. But as soon as they come in, I will unbox them and let you know. But I don't want you to wait till then to buy because the sale ends today, if you're watching this the day I post it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.